And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a new deck. We're going to be playing some Malvi Midrange. This is a deck that a viewer on YouTube submitted and I changed up a little bit to uh, what I think will be improving it, but let's give it a shot. So we're going to be combining Maokai and Vi together. <laughs> so we got Mao Vi. So that's going to be kind of a little weird. We've got a bunch of small units. You know, like we got our, our Warden's Prey, our Bark Beast. Warren's Spray can create us some more small units. Uh, so, like, all those things are going to be good to be playing with Maokai. Because, you know, you want to be playing... You want to have a bunch of units to be able to play with Maokai so you can keep tossing each turn. And creating saplings and those saplings dying. And so with all those small units dying and with the saplings dying from Maokai, we got three Neverglade Collectors in here to be draining the opponent. Um, as far as toss goes, we also have Dead Bloom Wanderer and Thorny Toad. So we have those as well to help Maokai level up. Uh, then we have two Rekindlers to bring back either Vi or Maokai with both of our champions. Both being real important. We got a couple of Rekindlers to bring them back. Um, some Vengeance for some hard removal. Same with Gotcha. Gotcha can pair up with our small units as well. Um, and then for card advantage, we have Progress Day. We have some Glimpse Beyonds. We got those for some progress day. Also, Thermogenic Beam and Mystic Shot for removal, because those cards are great. And then a Rasa at the top end, with us having so many small units die, playing a Rasa here, be able to kill a couple more enemies. Um, just just a pretty interesting looking deck. We'll kind of see how it goes. We'll just go take it right, right away over to ranked, and just kind of throw it in the fire, see what happens. Let's see. Uh, Bilgewater videos were like a week or two in advance, so not very far in advance of for whenever the Bilgewater set came out. So no, they, uh, they didn't really start doing Bilgewater videos three weeks away like now. So I'm, I'm guessing that like the first previews that we'd have from this game with, with Riot taking the, the week of the 10th through the 14th off would probably be like the 17th would be like the first that we would maybe see of the new sets. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, Nivea Trindamir. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna mulligan the, the Neverglade Collectors. Um, no, not... Not really, Kordak. That kind of just takes so much time to do. I mean, I guess maybe it doesn't take as much time. No, I haven't really thought of doing that kind of editing, though. Um. I was really hoping that we would draw Glimpse Beyond, where, like, if they have Avalanche or Withering Whale, I'd be able to Glimpse Beyond the Warden's Prey and keep these things alive. waiting on thinking of waiting on the wanderer the rot must be cut away all right maokai you accepted what a glimpse beyond would have been huge to have or a mystic shot you know that we could have used to kill our own thing or even a, a gotcha cuz i wouldn't have played the 3 2 would have had gotcha available Another Neverglade Collector in now. Day for a I guess maybe I should be doing that next turn with the Sapling. Hmm. 
I was thinking that I was going to be going Vengeance this turn, but maybe I should have done that. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go Thorny Toad. Getting these saplings in here. I got five mana for Thermogenic Beam. Well. Unfortunately, we don't get we don't get the abilities from our Dead Bloom Wanderers. So that's twenty three out of twenty five for Maokai. Hmm. Corruption everywhere. Life feeds on death. Or, I think I said Dead Bloom Wanderer, but I meant Neverglade Collector. Alright, level up Maokai. So they have, you know, just a couple of turns to win. Guess we'll use both Thermogenic Beam and Vengeance to kill this Trindomir. Hope they don't have more Trindomirs. Why, do, why would I need to be ru worried about Ruination? I was thinking that I need to be worried about Ruination, but why would I need to be worried about Ruination? If they play Ruination this turn... Let's see, so next turn they'll have two cards left, and then go over to my turn they'll have one card left, and then that... Okay, so they do have two more attacks. Which is a little unfortunate, they got two more attacks. Yeah, y'all are right. I could have just... Yeah, yeah, y'all are right. Trindomir was at two health. I should have just saved the beam. Could have saved the beam. Yeah, y'all are right. Bad use of thermogenic beam by me. So definitely hoping no more Trindomirs. Which, if I would have saved Thermogenic Beam, I would have an answer to Trindomir. Mm. That just dies to a Nivea attack. A true Felurian welcome. Gross. Leaping into action. I cannot be broken. <laughs> I have that Yeti from Yeti Yearling.
Well, they have one attack. We want to draw Vengeance, Thermogenic Beam, kind of removal spell like that. Are we getting Enraged Yeti? Nothing escapes my watch. Okay, can't can't kill us, probably. Unless there's an atrocity. I had nine, I have nine cards, so I'm still good. Barely. No, come on. Ooh. All right, well, honestly, I think I think I lost that game because of using that thermogenic beam when I did. If I just use it on the challenger. Now, we don't know what kind of removal they have. Like, maybe... Like, honestly, they probably have... Like, we saw later on, like, the other uh, removal. Maybe they would have saved it. Maybe it wouldn't have mattered. But, um, you know, if I would have saved that, maybe... Maybe I would have been able to use the Thermogenic Beam that turn that we took a lot of damage. Could have stayed alive. Wow, we have one card in in the in, in all of Legends of Runeterra. One card that could save them. And they had it. Darn. Still pretty good showing for our deck, though, right? That was pretty cool. Our Malvi. It's possible I should have just mulligan mullig to Maokai just to begin with. Not great in this matchup, but... Ouch, that's pretty rough, getting our Rekindler back. And then also getting... Get out of here. Um, you know, drawing another Maokai. Rough. So yeah, I really like Warden's Prey. I was looking, there's ten there's ten possible cards that you can get with Warden's Prey. And like like six of them are really good. Like five or six of them, something like that. Um, are really good. And like one of them is terrible with the one cost to cask, right? The zero mana one. Yeah, I think six of them are good. One is really bad. And then, like, three of them... The other three are, like, Curse Keeper. I didn't count these as really good. Are, like, Curse Keeper, Shark Chariot, and the Undying. That you're like, eh. Sometimes they can be okay, but not really cards you want. All the time. So overall, Warden's Prey, I think, is, is pretty great. Because the good ones, you know, you have, like, like the Yeti Yearling we had last time. Like, Yeti Yearling's a good card. Good night, Kordak. You have, like, Yeti Yearling. You have Legion Grenadier. Um, you have Averrozen, uh Sentry. Um, the Thorny Toad. Couple more. Victory requires a sharp blade. Hot on the trail. Are they, they're what? What? So they're going to use a Brittle Steel to kill a Warden Spray? Thank you. Nothing escapes my watch. 
Yeah, I am. I will take that. Yeah, that, that little one one. All right, I'll just pass here and have them not use that mana. That's true. They're worried about those 18 hits from Warden's Prey that were coming up. just gonna have I'll just trade Maokai with the glory seeker these glory seekers are really good I'll trade Maokai with one of course we do have a rekindler why aren't they why aren't they attacking with the other one look out for reavers Two mana gotcha. Could be interesting. I just don't, you know, we haven't drawn the unit part of our deck. I was kind of hoping with the Averroes and Century we would, um, as far as units to help out Maokai and get us saplings and stuff like that. Vi stands for vicious. Yes, yeah, so that's the third Trifarian Glory Seeker, yes. I am planning on using Mystic Shot on it. Nothing can stop me. But good thing I did. We'll just go thermogenic beam on this thing. Sure. That means they don't have that elixir of iron to protect the glory seeker, so that's good. Now, I, if they go straight to combat, I could just let Vi die and then go Rasa to kill those two, but I think I want Rasa to kill better things than this 3 1 in particular. I do kind of want to not take 9 damage and maybe Mystic Shot the 6 2. Difficult turn. Okay. Their cards in hand must not be very good. Like they only had so, like the thing is that they had three cards and I had seven. Right? Like we had we like doubled them up because they they were rifling through cards. So that's why That's why I kinda wanna just kill the six two with the mystic shot. Let Vi die. Yeah, we could have Rekindler. Uh, you know, keep our life total high because we we were probably out grinding them with the help. We you know we had Rekindler, we had Progress Day, um, we had Rasa. Like we had some heavy hitters, and they didn't have much, many cards left. So I need to make sure that to keep our life total high. So I felt pretty good about that game, and I guess our opponent thought the same. They're 
Cards in hand. I don't know what they could have, but it must not have been very good. And Vi would come back as a 2-4. Maybe they had a bunch of Reckonings and Culling Strikes, but they didn't have Frostbite cards. I don't, I don't know. All right, discard deep. All right, I'm gonna keep Mystic Shot. We're gonna look for. There we go. Look for some early stuff. I feel like Nautilus was probably really difficult for us to beat. We have a couple of Vengeance. So Vengeance and, and we have Rasa if we set that up. Um, Vengeance is at a premium in this matchup with Nautilus. Well, that would be nice to have you last turn, Warren Spray. What they discard? Sawnite Urchin? All hands on deck. Mm. I'm gonna play the Prey to have the Prey block the 2-1. The Thorny Toad block the 3-2. Draw Maokai. Never lost a fair game. Never played one. Draggling luck. Sure. Alright, Agent Iowa. Have a good night. Oh, thank you so much. It says, thanks for, as always, for the solid stream. Thank you. Glad, glad to have you here. All right, let's, let's probably kill an ally to draw two. I think that that's what we need to do. Wrong one. Kill an ally to draw two. Yeah, Shark Chariot, not the best. Um, could work with saplings. Could work with saplings. Lady Luck is smiling. All right, Nakano. Have a good night as well. All right, so my plan here is next turn play Maokai, then play Shark Chariot, then sacrifice Sh Shark Chariot to draw two. Okay, I like having that vengeance we talked about for Nautilus. That's going to be important. Nothing like me. And then after we sacrifice Shark Chariot for for to draw two, then we'll attack with the Sapling and bring Shark Chariot to back. Or 
hopefully going to mill out my opponent before mill us out. Because we have to have 18 more things die or toss. And I only have 23 cards in the deck. <laughs> and we're going to be drawing a bunch more of these Glimpse Beyonds. Um, Shark Chariots die are going to be dying a bunch. So that'll help. Go, Shark Chariot, go. With your back, not plate. And I guess we could cast Sap Magic to toss some more. Help Maokai level up. <gasps> yeah, Shark Chariot, Maokai, very good. See, Warden's Prey is just awesome. I just like this card more than, more than Hapless Aristocrat, you know? Like, a lot of people are playing Hapless Aristocrat. I just think this Warden's Prey can just have a bigger impact on games than Hapless Aristocrat does, you know? Like, we've been getting the 2-1 the whenever it dies, draw a card, and that card's been great. Uh, the Averroes and Sentries. And yeah, now Shark Chariot can do some work. You accepted what became of us. I guess the problem with playing that is that they do go Nautilus. I guess Nautilus won't be a 13-13 right now. So I don't have to worry about Nautilus in that Precious respect. Worth at least twice as much. Uh, all right, well. That's how it go. Do I play Warden's Prey right now or do I wait? Going so I'm going to have to play this Maokai... And then... I need the Jaw Hunters to die. I can't use the Blimps Beyond, right? Like, we need the Jaw Hunters to die. So 13 out of 25. I think I just wait and, you know, like, with the extra room here. I don't think I, I cast this Warden's Prey. Probably going to be glimpsed beyonding the one of these thorny toads pretty soon. Not today, little ones. No, Rasa. So that's nineteen. Sapling dies. Shark chariot dies. That's twenty twenty one. If I glimpse beyond here, that's that thing dying 22, and then it tosses 2, 23, 24. Or you can just attack with it. I'll make life easier. I mean, I would say I doubt they block those, but. Two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Ugh, it's only twenty-four. Uh, we we wouldn't get we wouldn't get the toss two and summon a sapling again because we already played something. So the warden's prey wouldn't get us that. So plan plan is to vengeance. Nautilus this turn. There you are. I don't know why that's not going... Oh, I guess that's not going after Maokai because it's a 4-4. Four -four. I was going to say, like, why is that not going after Maokai? Right, because it's a 4-4. Four -four. Now 
All right, so I don't draw two. Oh no! We can learn Everglade Collector. So do I want the one one Warden's Prey or the three three Bark Beast? I have nine cards left. <laughs> <laughs> the chains, they never stop. My That's the thing about our deck. Sometimes we'll mulligan our or sometimes we'll mill out ourselves, sometimes we'll mill out the opponent. Who knows? Could be either one. We had triple glimpse beyond this this time, so it's kinda good that they didn't have me draw the two. Because <laughs> I only have seven cards left. All right, so they only have four cards left. They're probably looking at a whole bunch of card draw in their hand and thinking, man, this isn't going to do very much. All right, well, I don't really want to... I'm going to play this over this thing. I don't really want to toss two anymore. <laughs> so I'm just going to get that out of here. I have three cards left. <gasps> Just need more space. Not like this wanderer attacks very good. I'm at 20 still, but we need more space. So we can play more things. So we can have more things die and get more Neverglade Collector abilities. So this is still all everything dying. Oh, okay, they're not killing the 3-3. Three, three. So that's four things dying. So they take four and go down to four. Which I guess I had a free pretty free attack with the Maokai, to be honest. Yeah, the Though, now I've lost my place. basically our way to not die is to have, you know, multiple Maokais or multiple Vi so we can get the champion spells. That's how we don't mill ourselves out. Um, you know, because then, you know, then I'll shuffle Vi's and shuffle Maokais back into the deck. No. Not gonna play this undying. The rekindler would put in Maokai, which would then give me two saplings a turn, but I don't have I don't have the room for two saplings a turn right now. Ah. I did have another Nautilus. We're hoping we obliterated the other Nautilus this is. So they didn't put any cards back, so they still only have two cards. We then kindle a new. No, yeah, Robin, no, I don't play Magic anymore. Just, yeah, switch to Rune Terra. All right, well, that tosses the two cards in their deck and then puts two treasures back. Treasures are good. I want them to attack. Fortunately, that's just going to be obliterated. Don't get to drain. So I wanted them to attack. Um, so we know they have a treasure in hand. Um... So what could be bad is I mean I guess I could have just attacked with some more things. I could attack with these two also. I don't know why I didn't. Do you hear the call? Yeah, 
yeah, I, I don't know why I wouldn't attack with those two things also. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say the, the heal breaker of doing the five damage to everything, that could be bad. But so I wanted to get that out of the way and then gotcha these, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know why I didn't attack with these also. <laughs> that was dumb. Should never glade collector damage in there to win that one. They did a, you know, they we weren't really gonna mill them out with Maokai because of the shipwreck orders putting back all those treasures. We weren't really gonna mill them out. So good thing we had the damage line also. That shark chariot was pretty big, to be honest. That was a really nice shark chariot that that really helped level up Maokai, that helped with the never glade collector, that hit him once also for the extra three damage. That Shark Chariot was really important in that game. Alright, Ionia, Freljord. Is this like elusives with Lee Sin? Is that what we got going on here? Maybe. I kind of want to keep this hand. We got turn one covered, we got turn two covered, we got turn four and five covered. So we just have three draw steps to find something to do on turn three. And even if we don't, we'll just save the spell mana. Um, Collector is a good one to follow up with Maokai, how we get the, that sapling. Start draining with that. It's not a bad card to follow up Maokai either. Two drop, three drop. Uh, kind of a two drop. Let's get the... Dead Bloom Wanderer. Three mana, three, two. They're out there. Let's draw that card. Warden's Prey. Hey, Dead Bloom Wanderer. That was good. Starlet's here. That card's great. I was hoping they were going to play Zed, and I would just Mystic Shot Zed. That was the plan. Alright, what are y'all thinking? Collector or Vi for next turn? Collector or Vi? In Avarosa's name! What are y'all thinking? Tough call. We're gonna have some things die. We could get some draining in. Or we can kill things with Vi. Should probably kill Why things with Vi. Let's go that route. Tough call. Yeah, double Neverglade is gonna be nice. I guess we're gonna need to. Um, I don't need a plan. I guess they could. 
Feels like they're gonna go Fury of the North. And then what, I glimpse beyond? don't glimpse beyond. I probably just Mystic Shot to kill this thing. Starless here is super good. We could attack with Barky. I didn't really want them just to be able to block with this entry and draw a card, though. I didn't want them just to have, you know, have four cards this next turn and have just better things to choose from. I didn't think it was really worth that attack to give them that extra card. Obviously the sentry is going to die eventually, but we can we can hold off on when it's dying. Today we fight as one. Safeguard our homes. It doesn't have to be now. Hmm. All right, third collector gone. We'll need to start clearing up some space. So maybe now I attack with these things to clear up some space. Draw two. Okay, okay. An auspicious season. Also not bad. So something is going to be pumped up a whole lot from the Starlets here, because if they didn't draw that unit already, they're going to have something that's going to have plus six, plus six, I think? You can see the plus eight, plus eight. Yeah. So they have something. It's gonna be pretty big. There we go. Yeah, just Maokai Neverglade collectors. Like they're not gonna really be able to get through. And those are just those are just gonna. eventually impose their will over time. All right, we are three and one with Mao Vai. Deck's looking good. Deck's looking good. Yeah, we're basically like a wall. Just try to delay the game and see what happens. Hopefully mill them out and not mill us out. I've really liked these Warden's Praise. They have been awesome. Uh, Braum and Nivea. I don't think I sit back with Neverglade Collector against Braum and Nivea. I actually just want to draw Warden's Prey. That'd be a good one to draw. Maybe they'll find a Shark Chariot again. Hello. Say hi, Dragling. I'm 
I'm sorry, opponent. <laughs> I'm over here clicking my draggling, thinking, like, wondering, like, when my opponent's gonna do something. And they're over here, like, what are you doing? Not bad. Well, not the best start. Why is my opponent not playing stuff that I get to kill? Uh, I don't, I don't know, Ran, Ranyaki. What, what's your question, or like, what do you mean? The question was, what's your thoughts on undying? I mean, like, just as a card. I mean, it's, I think it's a well-designed card. There's a lot of downsides to it. Um, like not being able to block is is a huge huge downside, but still, um, you know, it's a fun build around card. So I, I like it. I think it's a good a good card to have in the game. Yeah, no, yeah, Phantom Prankster. I don't think we'd really be able to fit into our deck. It's hard. I think it's really hard to have Maokai and Phantom Prankster and Neverglade Collector all together, like all three of them, because it's just too many cards that just t they take up too much space and they don't um, attack or block. And I, I think you have a real limit to how many of those cards you can play. I think so. I think like playing like Prankster and Collector is okay, or Maokai and Collector is okay, or Maokai and Prankster. But once you start getting into um, you know, like, that many copies of those kind of cards, I, I think it does get kind of difficult. Um... If I would be my best play if they're going to play, uh, if they're going to play Braum, but I don't think it's very likely they're going to play Braum. They haven't played Braum yet. I think it's most likely they're going to play Enraged Yeti, um, which you know, like we'd have Vi just like challenge the one-one Spiderling, like against Enraged Yeti. Uh, the okay, just the Bilgewater, Vulnerable and Dying deck. The deck's all right. Uh, we've we've played it a couple of times. Um, it's fun to play. I I do like. I think that's a very good way to use Undying is with. Um, like I do think that's a really good way to use Undying. All right, I'm I'm not gonna make that attack. I'm gonna change the round. Like they they had seven mana they weren't using. That gets rid of four mana on their side. We're just going to. We're just not going to. Um, Not gonna play anything. Rest in ice. Hot on the trail. It is a little awkward how Vi is my only champion and I or like my only unit. And I, I wanna play a unit to get the sapling. We just can't find any units. But I don't wanna play Vi, because let's say I play Vi, they play Ruination. I mean look up like my hand's pretty gross. I mean, I would be able to play Glimpse Beyond, I guess. One girl wrecking crew. It definitely seems like they're playing towards Ruination, because, I mean, they have multiple Enraged Yetis that they're just not playing. So this could just be a bad play by me. It's, it's worrisome. I'm worried. If I didn't have Glimpse Beyond, I definitely wouldn't do this, but we at least have Glimpse Beyond, I guess.
challenge this. I want to incentivize them not using Ruination. Maybe they use, like, some other removal spell on Vi. Cool. They can already play Rekindler. Can't be. These stories were true. Well, I don't need to be as worried about. Don't need to be as worried about uh, ruination now. Frozen Trapper is a really, really good card. It's one way to make basically every Prelior deck better that's not playing it, is just put it in. See that with a lot of like the Noxus Frelior decks that I'll have for donation decks. Basically, always be better if they just play. Avaros and Trapper in the three mana slot. Okay, this leaves me with six mana. Not enough. Sorry, not enough for vengeance. Hmm. I don't like they're just passing. I was hoping they would play something. Where are we at, Maokai? 13 out of 25. Alright, forever away. Good news is they have played one Vengeance. The good news. So they would tap out, like tap under Vengeance mana um, after I played Bark Beast. Possible I should just be attacking with Bark Beast also. We'll be a 3 3. Could clear up a space. Glad I didn't attack with the Bark Beast. Eternal winter. We can block with it now. I'm glad we didn't attack with it. Oh, 
All right. You block there. You block there. You block. Tell it to the fists. Here, and I vengeance the Anivia. Or I block here. There's the one two punch. Take the four damage from this thing. Still Vengeance and Nivea. I'm probably going to be combining Vengeance and Gotcha together this turn, I would think. Or maybe Vengeance, Thermogenic Beam. So do I block this 4-4 four, four or not? I guess the answer is not. Keep a Vi out here. I don't die to Fury of the North. That definitely hurts. That makes my uh, makes my Neverglade Collector a lot worse. So we're at 19, six to go. After Wanderer, we'll have three to go for leveling up Maokai. Anivia is a hard thing to kill. This is gonna be our third Anivia to kill. Two regular ones and one rekindler. Just gotta hope they run out of those things. Let's pass priority. So many cards in hand. That egg, did it move? They would have passed the priority to me, I would have passed back. But now they're not passing priority. I guess I attack and try to level up Vi. Third Anivia. I guess I should not have. I should not have attacked with Vi, because that, that allowed them to play the Anivia. I mean, well, they probably would have just gone grassy and dying. I've been really good to bring back Maokai. Like, that's what I need, is to bring back Maokai. But unfortunately, it was Vi. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be 3 and 2. Anivia... Anivia is just a heck of a card against... 
uh, my kind of deck against decks that are just kind of uh, stalling out and everything. Anivia is just the best late game. And we even got rid of three Anivias. We were fine, but it's just it's the the fourth Anivia. That's the one that got us. Drew four Anivias in the top sixteen cards. the new set to add some obliterate cards currently shadow Isles rules because of the lack of obliterate options well shadow Isles isn't shadow Isles does not rule i mean it's not it's a below average region shadow Isles removal is really poorly positioned I think it may be the second worst region besides Ionia. Oh. Yeah, like there there is the resurrection stuff with Shadow Isles, but I mean it's it's per I think it's it's okay. Yeah, like okay, so just splashing for harrowing. Yeah, it's it's fine. Harrowing can go back to being ten mana. I don't really know why they they moved Harrowing from ten to nine mana. That didn't really, I don't I don't know, really know what the motivation was for that. Um, but it's fine. Anyway, uh, yeah, Anivia is pretty great um, against super super slow grindy decks, which is what we are. Um, our, our way to win that is have Maokai level up. Didn't quite have, you know, I didn't, I wasn't quite able to have Maokai level up. That's what we need to have to win that game. Um, anyway, let's talk about our deck. Our deck was really cool. I really liked it a lot. We had a bunch of good removal. Don't really have very many cheap units. Not as many as I thought. Warden's Prey was key of getting us like some extra last breath followers to be able to cast with Maokai. Um, I could see playing maybe another, like, you know, two copies of, like, some cheaper things. Maybe get rid of, like, two removal spells uh, for that. Um, oh, yeah, I kind of forgot about our Progress Day and our, and our Rasa. Didn't really have those cards ever. Um, you know, just a couple more cheaper things to be able to play with Maokai. Maybe, or just a couple more units. I do like the Sump... So, basically, the Sump Dredger, like, you may be thinking this card looks weird. But, again, it, it's another unit to play with Maokai and sometimes you have all removal like we had there and you want to get rid of it and look for something else sometimes you have um you know sometimes Warren's Prey gives you like a last breath card that you really don't want and in that case you can discard it with some treasure um you know it just kind of clears out your draws a little bit whatever you you have too much of whatever you need to get rid of maybe you have way too many units and you need to find a removal spell for some champion and some treasure can help you do that I thought it was gonna gonna be a good one of but Never really, I mean, we never drew it at all, so we didn't get to really test that theory. But pretty cool, pretty cool little deck here with um, you know something a little different. If you like grinding down games with Maokai, Challenger, uh, that kind of stuff, using removal, this kind of plays at like this does play as a control deck. Um, even though I, I had it labeled as Maokai mid range, but honestly, this plays as a control deck. Um, you know, with draining with our your two mains of two main ways of winning is draining them down with Neverlake Collector or Maokai obliterating the deck. So pretty cool. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching some Malvi midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.